Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes to knit. And today I'm going to show you my finished objects, which are socks. First things first, this is a finished object video. I did not follow any pattern. I have my kind of recipe, what I'm doing. Maybe I'll leave links down below to how I cast on from the cuff down, although I have started lately going toe up. So I'm just missing that kind of tutorial how I do that stuff. Maybe I'll put it in the future. But you can see definitely how I do afterthought heel, basically how I cut the yarn, and you can check it out how I do a modified Kitchener stitch. All the links down below. Let's start with this one. Okay, first things first, what did I use? So I took this lovely bag and most of those socks were knitted during my trip with my friends and hopefully fingers crossed tomorrow I will edit and publish um, our vlog so if you're interested check it out. You will have it from the beginning and you'll see the during our adventure adventures to see how the socks were progressing. I haven't finished them all. Uh, I took them for a trip for my walk so you could see that on Instagram so uh, stories and I finished them. There are thing, few things about them, but in a while. So this beautiful bag is from my friend from Germany and I love to, love to show her because it makes her smile every time. And I love it too, it's kind of comfy, I like the size of it. And I just walk around, pull it, putting the finger through my keychains and you can check them in my shop. You have written down what's on them, so you know what I have in my bag. I love it so much. Normally what I use, I need four stitch markers, or maybe two I survived to knit, uh, sorry, progress keepers. They have to have that kind of uh, lobster cloth, kind of hooky thing. So yeah, back. Needles! Ta-da! Needles. I wanted to match the pouch to my yarn, and there, is, there are yellow elements, and the only yellow pouch that I have, it's from the, the Tower Pouch <laughs> collection, let's say it that way. Most of it was designed for the knitting journals, just to put elastic bands through it, and play with your notebook or your journal. But as you can see, you can use it also for needles, and I love these, they're changeables. I have two other thick sets, Haya Haya Sharp, but somehow this cord kind of works better for me. What I use, I like to use you in size one, which is 2.25 millimeters needles. This is 100 centimeter cord, which is 40 inches. You buy it this separately. I have some in my shop, so check it out if you're interested. And uh, what I like about these interchangeables that they have a movable, uh, not the tip, but the end of the cord overall. So I think it kind of helps with that twisting thing anyway. I believe in it. So pointy, so sharp. Love it. Okay, yarn. I used this yarn before and on the screen you can see that I knitted a hat because, you know, I love the yarn, I have to knit a hat first. And it was an interesting experience because when you knit with this yarn, well, if you knit from the blanket, your stitches will not be even. That's the word I'm really looking for. But I had some leftovers and time has come for me to kind of push it in and do um, shorties, socks, and... <laughs> So the yarn I'm talking about is from Super Crafty Girl. You can see it on the screen, a beautiful logo, guys. Look at this, I'm so love it. And here we have information. So we have a 70% support merino and 25% nylon. It's Oasis Sock Blank, 463 yards. So it's like 400 meters, I'm just guessing. Tie dye color, a B, I think it's blank. Yeah, it's a blanket. I don't know, I probably only knitters watch me over here, so you probably know what the blanket is. If you don't know, it's just um, a knitted, not hand knitted, but I presume it is like a machine knitted blanket. You get it, one, only one of those sizes you can easily rip frog. And the other one, even though it kind of tells you that you can, you will always have kind of a double loops. I learn now. I didn't have a problem with the hand because I was just pulling from one side. But with the socks, you know, if you don't know, I like um, to knit with circular needles. 
two at the time, Magic Loop, and I thought that I could pull from both sides and after two rounds I was just gathering more loops and loops and I decided, yeah, I've probably heard that you can't do it unless the blanket itself has two strands and this one is one so I can just, I could do that. And as you can see I have still some leftovers. That's all I have. And it was really colourful, brilliant, brilliant um, uh, work that it was done over here and it's shouting for me summer so that's why I, I was tempted to do shorty socks and how I did that I was stuck during the trip so I couldn't do much about it so I decided to do a long tube so maybe I'll have some footage now because I was posting also on Instagram so maybe just a few I'm going to show you now long tube I was working from the toe to a toe and then I cut it off in the middle I thought it was in the middle, I'll show you in a sec. And then I did ribbing and then I did afterthought heels on both of them. Here how they look and I knew they're not going to be matchy and that's why also I figured that I'll just put um, the same yarn for heels and toes. So I have knitted these socks from toes up. 12 stitches, work up every second, 56 stitches. I was going up to wherever I wanted to and I decided I finished with a toe and I chopped off in the middle. And as you can see, I could have probably checked it, but I will do this. They're not the same. I love the color and I'm going to show you in a sec how how fun they are, but how, what is the difference between the cuff and I did two by two ribbing and I love them, I can't wait to wear them, to be honest. It was so much fun to knit them, that's for sure. So the stitches I are wonky, I haven't blocked these. They don't, they don't look that bad on the sub blockers. I love this yarn, I received it as a gift from a friend and I adore it so much and, and, and it's so much fun. It's going to be a crazy thing because as you can see, look at the heel, it's different. I do not own socks like these. Uh, this is first time for me knitting, it kind of after thought everything. Obviously you can do it from the cuff to a cuff and then do after thought and the toes but somehow I just end up this way. <laughs> um, yeah, but I loved it so much. I didn't have to think and it reminds me all the fun things, my friend's birthday, the other friend, and a cycling achievement and so much fun. Definitely check that vlog if you can. Hopefully I'll have it soon enough. So the blanks will give you a different effect than the speckled yarn. They're very unpredictable, I would say, as you can see. And you can definitely see on the on the vlog because what I'm doing, I have my sock blank on the lap and I have my socks. So when I started, you could have seen the section and after a while you see that I knitted so, so much of the section and you will see how they knit up. So I would definitely recommend. I hope I won't forget to put it down there. If you're at any stage on Instagram and you notice that I don't have it there, ask me and I will link it because I sometimes forget to go back and update everything. So yeah, I love them so much and I'm kind of into shorty socks syndrome because we have a summer and I adore them. I adore them. I need more. And then when I finish, I'll probably be knitting socks for friends and family. Family and friends. My family's watching actually. How do you like these? They're completely different ish. The only thing that the caps are the same, but at the end of the day, this part will be the shoe. So only me will know how crazy they are. <laughs> and you. I think I said it all. If I forgot about something, I sometimes always forget. <laughs> it's just that I'm so excited and I'm just, I'm not really prepared. But um, now let me know, have you knitted with a sock blank? Uh, if you haven't, let me know, would you want to try? I would say, yeah, if, if you can, just go and try it. You may like it, you may not like it. Will I knit with a sock blank? I don't know. Um, will I buy a sock blank? I would not be the, the fan of it. First thing, the stitches. They're not even. I'm a loose knitter, so that wobbly thing. And I'll show you. I'll show you how it looks like. They're like this. So because I'm a loose knitter, I don't stretch it so nice. So it stays kind of wonky. You won't see it here, so. Can you see it now? And I know people say blocking will do the thing. What I didn't do with the hat, well, I didn't put a, the hat anywhere on the stretching bit, like, you know, hat blocker. 
um, so maybe the socks will be better, I don't know. First I'll wear them and then I wash them because I like them anyway. <laughs> so cool. Okay, I know that was a little bit of a crazy bit, but I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. I have a few footage objects that I eager to uh, record and publish and edit and share it with you and uh, don't forget to use hashtag knitting I love show me what you're knitting don't forget to tag me for any whips that you do I'm very interested to see if you have any ideas in regards next project that I should knit let me know down below and I hope I'm going to see you next one bye by the way peace.